Hey guys, I am back once again. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a media center software called Kodi. Kodi is basically an open source media software that can be really built to fit for your needs. It's basically Windows Media Center on drugs. So let's get started on how to install it for Windows. Alright, let's get started on the installation. So go ahead and open up your internet browser. Mine will be uh, Google Chrome. Go ahead and enable that extension. Go to your URL bar, type in Cody.tv forward slash download. Here is where you can find all the different downloads for Windows, Linux, OS X, Android, the Raspberry Pi, the iOS, Apple TV, and then they even have their own standalone operating system. But see as I will be using Windows, let's go ahead and download. Click on next. Agree. Now you have the decision to do different kind of extensions like audio encoder, PVR, skin, Microsoft Visual C++ packages, which you will need, plus DirectX. If you're using Linux, you're going to need support for OpenGL. Alright, go ahead and click on next. Go ahead and install. It's basically self-explanatory for the most part. And my nose is a little stuffed up right now. This is giving you a general idea on how long it will take to install, too. It shouldn't take too long depending on the speed of your hard drive. Although my hard drive is uh, near stuck for Windows. You see, I got mostly all older PC games that my laptop can handle. Are you almost done? Yay! It's almost done. Just gotta do the uh, VRC credit thing, or whatever you want to call it. And this does support Windows XP, Vista, seven, eight, and ten. I don't know if it'll support older versions of Windows like two thousand or Millennium, but why would you do it on old operating systems? Click on show details. Nothing. There it goes. Alright, it's installing the uh, other components like Visual C, not Visual C, but C, DirectX. Let's go ahead and run Cody. So it'll do its initial setup. Do you admit to load? It's slow. That's on Windows. On a old Dell Latitude D530. This is why I'm recording with my cameras because my D530 isn't very good for screen recording yet. Yoohoo, Cody! There it goes. And so we got the boot screen, Kodi 14.2 Helix. This is the latest version of Apple for Windows right now. 
normally I'll have you do an initial setup, but I think because I had a uh, old version of XBMC, and I already did all that. Now let's go ahead and allow access. So this is the main UI here. As you can tell, you can adjust different system settings, play disc, programs, listen to music, watch videos, and then there's your pictures. So let's go ahead and get some of the repositories all set up. So let's go ahead and go to videos, files. So this is the first time around help and you can do a different types of sorting, whether it be sort from ascending, sort by name, view list, or update your library. But let's go ahead and add videos. So let's go ahead and go to add videos. Go to browse. Now for mine, all my movies are stored on my D drive. If it's like for Linux, it'll be like your music, movies, pictures, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and click on that. Find my movie directory. Movies. Click on OK. Then it'll give it an, if you want to change your name, go for it. So let, for me, let's just put Skull of This Movie Collection. All right, so go ahead and click on OK. And then your repository has been added. And now you can browse through all your movies. And there will be some folders you want to set up, but it'll take some time to figure out how to get all this organized, which I actually don't know how to do yet. All right, let's go ahead and get the music done. So I just thought on over the music, it'll be the same process. Go to add music, browse. Of course, everything's my D drive. What is my one terabyte? Then go down to music. Click on OK. And again, you can change the name, but I'm going to leave it the same. All right, there you go. Well, this will go ahead and wrap it up for the basic setup of XBMC or Cody, depending on what version of it you have. Because once they jump to version 40, 14, not 40. They renamed XBMC to Cody. K O D I. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial, and I will have more coming out within the next few days.